Hi, I'm Scott and welcome to Canard Boulevard. Today we are going to be installing CAS alert lights in my cozy. Just so, oh wait, I forgot something. All right, CAS or crew alert system is messages that come up on the screen to let you know that something's gone wrong. There's an alert or a warning. Alert is very bad, warning is just that. So I'm gonna put some lights up so that I don't miss those alerts. So I'm right here measuring where those lights are gonna go. And I've got some, some tape up there so that when I drill, I can catch all the shavings that come off. And I'm just testing to make sure I can see it. Everything is gonna be in the good position. I'm going ahead and drilling holes in the in the uh, panel there so that I can install those two lights. The lights are colored kind of a yellowish orange and red that match the colors of the cast message. Uh, I, I, the reason I'm doing this is, be, well, first off, the, the Garmin G3X with the EIS, the GEA24 can actually do this. And you can see I'm, I'm uh, crimping all the wires together here and figuring out where it's gonna be powered from. And I, I have cast messages come up, like a, uh, for instance, um, you know, the cylinder temperature is getting too hot and I'm missing them because I don't happen to look down and I, maybe I didn't hear the alert noise. So these lights will turn on right in my face and that way I'll know that there's a cast message that I should be paying attention to looking down on the screen. And as soon as you resolve that cast message, the light then turns off. So here I am pulling wire all the way to the back because that's where the EIS module is. Unfortunately, it's right at the back because that's where the engine is, which means every time I wanna hook up something to the EIS that's up at the front, be it switches or anything else, it means I have to run wires all the way to the back. So now I've done that and I am crimping together everything. You will notice that uh, I've actually cut the wires down in the foot well as well and put a couple of connectors in there. And the reason for that is because I don't know which of these two wires is which. I don't know which one is for the alert and which one's for the warning. So I put connectors on there and then whichever one, if it's right, I got a 50-50 chance. If it's right, I'll just leave it as is. And if it's not right, then I have to swap them. As it turns out, I did have to swap them. So now that I've got that hooked up, I'm pulling the wire into the EIS at the back, uh, crimping on a pin and putting it into the DB connector and then I will screw all the connectors in place and we will be ready to test this out. So what I've done is I've got an alert, or sorry, a warning, a caution warning, because I have my volts too, my backup voltage is turned off. So that's why I have that that yellow light showing. So I'll turn on my, my backup battery and you can see that volts comes up the cast message goes away and the light turns off so it's working so i'm happy with this this is a very short video i hope you like what you saw if you have any questions comments suggestions leave them in the comment section below and hey if you could do me a favor click like and subscribe on this video thanks for watching